Okay. Here's the deal. I tried streaming from my phone. It, and eh, I don't think it's going to work out. Streaming from phones is stupid. So, what I've got going on here is this is a computer. It's an old computer. It's actually an F1, no, a Phenom 2 X6. And I've put two PCI Express SATA controllers and eight laptop hard drives up to it. What I do is I plug these drives up and then I can use a command like this to erase them. See how it's got uh, C through J there. C, D, E, F, blah, blah, blah. What this is doing, and maybe I can just pull a command up and show you. This is my file system info command. It shows a bunch of stuff about hard drives. I'm not concerned about privacy with these. So this is this computer's SSD. This is this computer's 3 terabyte storage drive, which doesn't have anything on it right now, but we don't want to wipe those because those are part of the computer itself. Those are things that I don't I want to keep. But these other drives, these other drives are going to get nuked, right? So let's look at this. We got SDC, there's capacity, smart. I've got SELE means there are smart error log entries, load cycle count. This one has reported 96 uncorrectables, which means there have been read errors. CTO is command timeout, which means that the drive has not been able to respond before the timeout period to 61 commands in its lifetime. So that drive's probably bad, so I marked it as such. Um, same thing here, capacity, load cycle count, I've got model and serial, and this one's got 192 reallocated sectors and is a older, smaller drive, so I consider that to be bad, so poof. This drive has a command timeout through the roof, of course it's a Seagate, 250 gig, old, marked it as bad. Um, this one right here, it has a low load cycle count, three command timeouts, and has reported one UCEC, which is actually new and is probably my fault. Um, I marked it as bad dude because it has age and three command timeouts, but otherwise I would have considered it good. Now, you probably noticed all these exit ones that appeared down here, and that was the loop I was trying to show you earlier. See this, this here for X in CDEF GHIJ. The reason I do that is, look at the drive letters here, S, D, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, right? That's all the drives that are plugged in to be wiped, to be checked for badness and wiped. So what I'm doing here is saying, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, for each one of these, run the command cat dev zero, which reads the zero special device, which just spews zeros. It's just a source of infinite zeros. Output that to device S, D, whatever these are. Now, over here, instead of a semicolon and done, we have an ampersand and done. The ampersand makes this fork off into the background, this whole cat dev zero out to the drive command, forks into the background, and then it runs the loop again, which means it does the next drive. So all eight of the drives get zeroed out in parallel, destroying all user data stored on those drives so that they can be disposed of in relative confidence. That's what I'm doing here. So each one of these drives, and it'll be very difficult to do with one hand, but each one of these drives will get pulled thus and replaced. Like this one's toast. For now I'm just gonna put that up there. And we're gonna get another drive. And like I said, one-handed, this is gonna be tough. We'll get another drive, plug it up, or not. Plug it up and plug in the data cable. Man, I wish I had two hands right now. Cell phones are stupid. So we plug this new drive up. Now just, I'm not going to plug eight more drives up, but you get the idea. Repeat that for seven more drives. So what we'll do is we'll run fsinfo again. This is, a, by the way, uh, github.com slash jbruchon slash Tritech-Utils. Um, this is a script that I wrote, but you can find this information using commands like hdparm, um, smartctl, a bunch of stuff that underlies this. Now, um, let's look around, and can we find a drive that's been swapped out? I actually didn't look. This is a bad 160, so I'm betting it's that one up there, and it's C has been swapped out. D-E-F-G-H-I-J, so okay, here it is, SDC was in fact swapped out, it is now 
this ST320 LM001 with serial number God knows what. Serial number? Of course a train would go by outside when I'm doing this. Honk honk. This hard drive is about nine years old. Nine and a half years old. I don't... Why don't I know where the serial... There's the serial number. It's really long, weird text. Uh, S2R blah 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 9044. See, laptop hard drives, they don't actually use very much power. If you go look at this right here, okay, find the power. So this is, says rated DC 5 volts at, it appears, 0.085 amps. But if you ground that up to 1 amp, that's only 5 watts. That's 5 watts for this drive. And it's not even that because I'm rounding up. What about this Western Digital right here? How much power does it need? 5 volts DC, 0.55 amps. So maybe that Seagate actually is 0.55 and not 0.85, and I just can't read it. But even if you assume that each one of these is using a full 5 watts, consider that on the 5 volt rail we've got 8 of those. That's 40 watts for 8 drives. But what about one of these big honking desktop drives? Won't that do it? Won't that set the thing on fire? Well, maybe... Um, but on the 5 volt rail, it only pulls a little bit more. And then it pulls half of a, an amp on the 12 volt rail, which is another 6. So technically, these drives are using something to the tune of, let's say that's about 3 watts, 3.5, let's, let's call it 4, and then that's 6, so 10 watts. So a desktop drive is 10 watts. If Even if I hooked up 5 of these desktop drives, that's 50 watts, in one SATA connector. That might be pushing it, maybe. But that's why I'm not gonna plug up a bunch of desktop drives all at once. In fact, the plan is to take some of these desktop and some of these laptop drives that all need to be checked and wiped and do some of them at a time and some others at a different time. So yeah, get a nice splitter and you can plug all kinds of stuff up. As you see, I am using two quad SATA PCI Express cards. So I have eight ports there. Then the motherboard is one of those wonderful, wonderful boards with six ports. So technically, if I really wanted to go psychotic, I've got four more ports. I could do 12 drives with this freaking thing. I mean, this is really amazing, isn't it? But anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's how you wipe drives in bulk. That's what all that crazy stuff is I was posting earlier. I hope this has been informative. Have a wonderful day.